Okay, Charles Amon here. Here I am in, uh, I call this a justice building, but sometimes I wonder about that because you have, well, we're not gonna mention no trades, but you have certain people doing the dirty work against the less fortunate behind these walls. Myself, I always had faith with the cops, the justice system. As a matter of fact, when I was arrested in 06 in St. John, the cars were all stacked against me. The police deleted all my pictures. There was orders by the Franklin Police Force to arrest me. Had no lawyer. And uh, next thing you know, uh, I was acquitted. And I had faith in the justice system until I came here to Fredericton. But anyway, we're not going to go down that road. Why am I here? I was arrested last summer because I had a blowhorn in my hand and protesting against a misjustice, a double standard that this city, that Chief, Chief Barry Midnight said that there's a double standard in this city. The rich and powerful will not be ticketed while the less fortunate, the poor, will be ticketed with a $140 fine, which we can't afford. So you can't afford to go to jail, then me, in my case, I when I had the blowhorn, I protested the, this double standard, and then they arrested me, they put me in jail, I don't know, the cops ordered the, the, the guards at the provincial jail to cut off my medication, I didn't have my, my inhaler, I didn't have my prescription, my sleeping pills, so I could have died, but uh, guess what, I survived, I'm here. But two days in jail in St. John, I'll never forget it. But anyway, I asked to appeal the verdict, which my probation is over. I was sentenced to six months probation, 20 hours of community work, which I'd done that. It's over. But the principle is, everybody's telling me in this city, well, you won. You're always arrested, then they drop the charges. You're arrested, you drop the charges. And this time around, I'm not happy to have, talk to you later, I'm not happy that they got away with me pleading guilty. What happened is I showed up in court, I had no lawyer, I had some supporters, then I had River Rat Matt Myers show up and, uh, hey buddy, how's it going buddy? What, what are you planning to do here anyway? So they turn around, and another one, but, uh, no, there was a couple, of few, four or five cops, people running around behind them, distracted, but that's okay. Um, so I turn around, I said, uh, okay, my support says a good deal, pleaded guilty, I show up in court, we pleaded in guilty. My support, that's why he came running, big guy. So anyway, um, I said, okay, it's so open court. Next thing you know, the prosecutor said, the judge, Mary Jane Richards, said, have you reached a compromise, an agreement? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Then the prosecutor says, we're gonna have victim impact assessment. I stood up, I said, victim impact assessment? Oh, no, 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 Therefore, this wasn't part of the deal. I didn't want to have woman, the, the, the one that complained to have me arrested stand up and say, I can't sleep, it's the blowhorn, the noise of the blowhorn, I can't sleep at night, his voice, I have nightmares. I would have looked at least, I would have had maybe 20 years in jail. So the judge said, we're gonna have a recess, she took off. Next thing you know, Bobby Jean Simmons from the Fredton Police Force goes from behind the court, the, the courtroom says, everything's gonna be all right, Charles, everything's gonna be all right. And I said to myself, what the hell is a cop? doing in the courtroom, telling me everything's gonna be all right, Charles. There's something that just wasn't right. But I pleaded guilty. My supporters congratulated me that I did very good. I spoke well for once. Everything was calm. They gave me a hug. We moved, turned the page, and move on. This was January 16 of this year. Next thing you know, three days later, knock, knock, knock at my door.
Bobby Jean Simmons. But Beauchamp, Beauchamp, you know, I get the word right sometimes. Don't worry, read my blog, you'll see. Turn around and say, good morning, Charles. And she was, it was eight, ten cars behind her. They handcuffed me, they took my computer, they said, I'm under arrest for libel. So, blah, blah, blah. so they turned around, the cops were doing the dirty work. Within those walls, knowing full well that three days later they'll be charged for libel criminal code section 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 301 which was found unconstitutional in four other provinces they met him so anyway i afterward the charges were dropped it's always seemed to be the same routine arrested charges dropped arrested charges dropped just like a little game so i appeal it in front of judge judy clemente I say they were wrong, it's okay. Now, in St. John, they have mental health courts for people with problems, like myself, with ADHD, and people with mental disorders. So we know only a fool represents himself as a client. So I showed up there, sat down. This Judy Clementing arrived. Next thing you know, she said something. I said, Your Honor, I can't hear you. She said, you hear me now? Start screaming right at the beginning of the session. Now, and I never, I've seen in court before people, I never seen a judge scream at a lawyer right from the start. I never seen that. So that right there tells me that that made me an activist to have mental, courts for mental health people, problems here in Fredericton because the justice system is not intelligent enough to deal with people with, with mental problems here in this city, which I will confront Marie-Claude Blais and we will make sure that we're going to have because these judges here, they, they can't do it. So, my appeal was denied. Surprise! The Irving newspaper, they did very well. They did, the story was about the cops, the cops acting like uh, prosecutors. When you have cops acting like prosecutors, cops acting like uh, duty counsel, there's something wrong here. I thought a cop is only supposed to testify of what he or she seen, but that's not the case in here. They have the little Gestapo, I mean, the asshole, the main officers, little lounge, and they all, they all, try to figure out okay we're gonna have this guy plead guilty do deal i don't know there's something going on that's why we need a provincial inquiry okay this is long enough this sounds like my, my uh Andre murray one about 30 minutes but anyway don't want that i have an appeal here it's about four or five pages i'm going to appeal the decisions of, of the decision made by jordy clemente now can I uh, turn around? I'm not going to read all this. This will be on my blog. All the reasons that I feel the decision should be appealed. Am I intelligent enough to do all this? Come on, of course not. I have ADHD and there's something about me and the justice system that I don't take the time and study what's going on. The one we call the wing nut on my blog, Sally Brooks. Oh my God, look at that, Justice. Turn around there, look at that, the Rat Patrol. My God, see, those are the Rat Patrol that hunts down and, are they on the sidewalk? No, okay. They're the Rat Patrol that goes down and hunt down the less fortunate that don't have a helmet because they can't afford a helmet. Anyway, that's another story, I got distracted. Sally Brooks helped me on this. I appreciate that. And there's some very, very good points that I never even noticed that I was read it, I seen it, I understand it. And Sally Brooks turned around, the wing nut, put it in a professional manner. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna present this, what's gonna happen? You know what, I don't think nothing's gonna happen, but I just want to see how the system works. I have no money. They say it costs $50 for the fee to put this in. I'm broke. If they say you need to pay 50 bucks or you're not gonna be 
The appeal will be rejected. That's no problem. We'll just go to the Justice Department. Or maybe I could panhandle. Yeah, I could hit my camera and say, give me five bucks or give me 50 bucks or get blogged. They hate those smiles. We'll give me some money. No problem. So anyway, we're going to go to Justice building and uh, I'll do a little follow-up when we get out of here. Thank you very much.